Houston, we have a problem with the sixth string. <laughs> it seems that guitar players, we have a, a flamenco guitar players, I mean, we have a problem with the sixth string because, or it is that they rest this, this, the, the thumb on the sixth string to, to learn piccata, which is bad for practicing, as Paco said. And, or, or you are playing, you know, chords. You are, you, are, you are strumming over this chord, and instead of playing a, ba a rich bass, which of course we have six strings, and if we take one off, this is a problem. You will, I don't know, 15% less or what it is, but it is so much less, right? If I play a chord with five strings, and I play a chord with six strings, This is a bigger chord, so I have more presence there. Of course, when the strings matter, and most of the time, players have this is a bad habit to not know, also playing rhythm, for instance, if you play in tangos, when to, to rest the thumb and when not. If I am playing. Of course, here I have the, the orimbuleria por medio. Resting here because that's how it is. But if I play por arriba in this posture, then I'm not playing same as if I play. I see so many people. This is a typical mistake. Everyone who does not have a teacher for sure has this problem, and the so-called professionals also have this problem because the only Paco was very picky about this thing. I, didn't, I haven't seen anyone else who actually mastered that. When to play with the thumb resting. When you play in format for medio thing, then you do it. But when you play por arriba or in that posture or other things, then you need the sixth string. If the sixth string is omitted, you will sound skinny and little. You want to sound skinny and little? No. Then that's, therefore, that's, what, that's why in the method I created in Skype, I, I did the several variations for different strummings and for different use. Also the golpe thing. We, we also studied this percussive stuff with the thumb resting, because when I am playing I also am doing the, the acoustic animation of that is So this thing here, if I take away the deepness of the golpe then it will, But we have to practice this alone, with the thumb resting, with the thumb not resting Because when we have chords in which we can harness the bass it's much better. In fact, we do not stop. We never study strummings playing. When we play strumming, muted strumming, which also Paco de Lucia invented it, actually, because before Paco there was not that. Now everybody does these things, like you know, in Almoraima, that was the thing. He presented it there in 1976. And, and, but they don't know. That, oh, yeah, oh, wow, it was Paco, oh, really? Yeah, of course it was Paco, man. Before Paco never was any such thing, Sabi, because of Ricardo did doing this thing, playing mutant strings. Where was that? Hello. That's why there is no originality now. No one is doing one thing which Paco has not done 40 years ago. Don't ask me why. You ask it yourself better. But this is the fact. And this one of the things is we haven't learned yet in, in proper deepness what Paco did evolve and what he presented, and part of it is these techniques, which have a specific points of here I rest, here I don't rest, because when I need a chord, if I'm playing a strumming, for instance, I need to, to play mainly low four strings, and now if I do the same strumming in this posture, look, It sounds like a Hawaiian guitar. So this is what happened because we are we need to harness bass notes. The ba the the basser note you have in, in a chord, that one there has to be louder than the others. Like the other day, I also was telling a friend to learn buleria and don't play like this because there is no fifth 
and I don't have presence. So if I have this bass, I harness it. Right, I have to harness that. Otherwise, if that is not there, I am sounding, I am sounding just very thin, you see. All these things. So, but that has to be learned in, in the gradual process in for the levels from level one up to ninth. And then I created specific exercises to know these things. I break down all the the pack of stuff to 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 get it out there for you. So you are very welcome to join from the scratch. You can learn it. This is no problem. But at least avoid uh, the sixth string being muted with the thumb with the them thumb there, or making you some uh, skinny or get a bad. A bad habit with the picado stuff, which also people is addicted to do it. You can do when you play, but one thing is playing and another is practicing. That you, that is another video about the thing. This I already said, but the thing is, we have a problem with the sixth string because it doesn't sound <laughs> in most of the cases. And also in the about the 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 maestro Luther Bourgeois who explained uh, about the harmonics. He said that a bad quality guitar does not have. The, the full harmonic of the E, but we are listening the higher octave only though. <laughs> you can also check that later. So yeah, the sixth string has to ring, and if in, in, in any chord, the lower note, in flamenco at least, this is for our style, that's the most important one. So we have to be careful with the strumming and with everything that we play with the right hand, in a way that it frees the sixth string, and then that we sound much better that way. Me ayudó lo que descubrí ahí en la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque en la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando, de cómo estás tocando, de qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, sí, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados, puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que, en el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo creo que son muchas horas elaborando esa música.